Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will discuss about draggable scrollable sit in Flutter. Here I have created the project draggable scrollable sit underscore getx by using the get CLI tool. Now after creating the project in the home view file, I have written the code to design the draggable scrollable set. Okay. Now let me move to the home view part. Here you can see in the comment section I have written what is actually a draggable scrollable set. It is a widget which drags down from the bottom and expands in vertical direction. It expands up to a certain fraction of the screen as specified and then enables scrolling within the expanded height. Okay. Now let me explain this paragraph in this output. Now here you can see this is a draggable scrollable set. It can be expanded in the vertical direction as you can see it is expanded. And after that within the expanded height this is scrollable okay and this is exactly what i have written here okay as well as here i have done one more thing once i select it then this the selected item will be highlighted with a blue color okay as well as we can deselect it also okay now let me explain the code now here you can see i have created a class home view which is extending the gate view which is taking the home controller now in the build method there is a scaffold widget in the app bar in the title i have written draggable scrollable sit which is visible here okay center title is true now in the body i have taken a stack widget okay now as a children of the stack widget i have taken a container having the width as context dot width this means it will take the entire width of the screen and in the height i have written context dot height this means it will take the entire height of the screen okay now in the color i have specified colors dot purple this means the background color of the container is purple and that's why you can see the container color is purple here in the output okay now as a child of the container i have taken a padding widget okay and in the padding i have specified the padding from left right and top from the left and right i have given a padding of 16 and from the top i have given a padding of 20 now as a child of this padding widget i have taken a text widget and in the text widget, I have written draggable scrollable set demo, which is visible here. You can see this text draggable scrollable set demo is visible here and it has a padding of 20 from top. Okay. After that, I have given a style of this text widget. In the text style, I have specified the color as white. That's why the color is white here. Font size is 16 and the font weight is bold and text align is center. Okay. Now, after that, this is the first widget of the stack okay now as a second children of the stack i have taken a draggable scrollable set okay now here in the builder as you can see it is taking two parameters build context and scroll controller okay now here i have returned a padding widget and in the padding i have specified a padding of 16 from all sides that's why you can see this draggable scrollable set has a padding of 16 from all sides okay now as a child of this padding i have taken a container and in the decoration property of container i have used box decoration and in the border radius i have specified border radius dot circular 10 and color for this container i have specified as white that's why you can see this container has a background color of white and here you can see i have specified the circular border radius of 10 you can see this container has a decoration with a border radius as circular and the radius value is 10 okay now as a child of the container i have taken a list view dot builder and in the item builder it is taking build context and index and here i have returned a list style inside the obx widget okay now in the list style as a leading I have used a circle avatar having the background color as light blue as you can see it has a background color of light blue okay and as a child of this circle avatar I have taken a text widget and in the text widget I have specified the value of this index okay and I have converted this index to string okay now in the style of this text I have used text style and I have specified the color as white that's why you can see in the circle of that all this text has a color as white okay now in the title property of the list style I have used a text widget and in the text widget I have written index position is dollar index that's why you can see this text has been displayed index position is 0 1 and so on okay 
now in the style i have used text style and in the color i have specified controller dot selected underscore uh, sorry square bracket index if it is true then the color will be white otherwise the color will be black now let me move to the home controller in the home controller you can see here actually there is no need of this method let me remove this and there is no need of this variable as well okay now here you can see i have created a list of bool having the name as selected and after that here i have written list dot generate 40 and after that all the values are false and this list is reactive because here i have used dot obs okay now in the home view part you can see here i have written controller dot selected index if it is true then the color will be white otherwise the color will be black now initially you can see all the values are false that's why the color will be by default black now in the selected tile color here i have written controller dot selected of index if it is true then the color will be blue otherwise it will have the default color okay now in the selected property here i have written controller dot selected of index now by default its value is false this means the selected will be false and that's why no items will be selected by default okay now in the on tab here i have written controller dot selected of index equals to not controller dot selected of index now by default the value of controller dot selected of index is false and whenever i will tap on the list style at that time the value of controller dot selected index will be true now initially it is false whenever i will tap it then since here i have used the not operator the value of controller dot selected index will be true and once it is true and since it is wrapped inside obx then what will happen the selected tile color will be blue and and the text of the title will be white because its value will be true that's why whenever here i am tapping it let me show you whenever i am tapping it here at that time you can see it is selected in blue color and once i will tap it again then its value will be false and it will have the default color okay now in the item count i have specified the value as 40 and since here i have specified the value as 40 that's why in the home controller the list which i have created here i have generated the value to 40 okay and in the controller of the list view i have specified the value as scroll controller now if you remember that uh, this draggable scrollable set is taking the scroll controller and this scroll controller i am specifying to the controller property of the list view okay now here this draggable scrollable set takes more parameters the first one is initial child size now what is the meaning of this here i have written this specifies the initial size of the set when the app is opened the default value is 0.5 okay here i have specified the value as 0.3 this means it will take 30 percent of the screen space okay after that the next property is mean child size here i have specified the value as 14 now what this property do minimum size to which the sit can be dropped down now you can see if i am dropping it then you can see this is the minimum size now what will be the minimum size that is specified by using the mean child size the default value is 0.25 here i have specified the value as 0.15 now remember that the value of mean child size must be less than equals to initial child size okay after that it has one more property which is called as max child size now it specifies to which the seat can be dragged up up to which height it can be dragged up the default value is 1.0 here i have specified the value is 0.9 this means when i am dragging it up then what can be the maximum height that is specified with the help of this max child size okay this is how we can use the draggable scrollable set in flutter okay i hope you have liked my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching